Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming to attend our press conference to announce the 2023 Kyoto Prize laureates despite your busy schedule. Let me introduce myself. I am Mae Gucci from communication section of Inamori Foundation, serving as MC today. It's my great pleasure. This announcement of the laureates is streaming live on YouTube with two languages, Japanese and English. Now, first of all, let me introduce the members for this conference. First, from your left, the chair of Kyoto Prize Executive Committee, Dr. Hiroyuki Sakaki. He is the chairman of Nara National Institute of Higher Education and Research. Next is the chair of Kyoto Prize Committee of Advanced Technology, Dr. Shizuo Akira. He's center director of Center for Advanced Modalities and Drug Delivery System, Osaka University. And the next is the chair of Kyoto Prize Committee of Basic Sciences, Dr. Shigefumi Mori. Director General and Distinguished Professor at Kyoto University Institute for Advanced Study. Lastly, the Chair of Kyoto Prize Committee of Arts and Philosophy, Dr. Eriko Osaka, Director General, the National Arts Center, Tokyo. Now, I call upon Dr. Sakaki, the Chair of Kyoto Prize Executive Committee, to announce the 2023 Kyoto Prize laureates. Dr. Sakaki, please. Let me announce the 2023 Kyoto Prize laureates. First is for advanced technology. The prize field of this year is biotechnology and medical technology and the laureate is Dr. Ryuzo Yanagimachi. Dr. Yanagimachi is a reproductive biologist. He is 94 years old. He is Professor Emeritus at University of Hawaii at Manoa. In 1960, he earned PhD from Hokkaido University. And since 1966, he has earnestly engaged in education and research at University of Hawaii. His achievement is contributions to the elucidation of fertilization mechanisms and the establishment of micro-insemination technology. Dr. Yanagimachi demonstrated a method for in vitro fertilization in mammals and expanded greatly our insights into the fertilization process. And further, he established micro-insemination technology by developing and innovating the intracytoplasmic sperm injection, which is direct injection of sperm into egg cells with a microscope. He has made significant contribution to the development of essential assisted reproductive technologies in our modern society through his dedicated activities in both basic research and technology development. Next is the category of basic sciences. The prize field this year is mathematical sciences. And the laureate is Dr. Elliot H. Lieb. Dr. Lieb is a mathematician and a physicist, 90 years old. He is Professor Emeritus at Princeton University. He received PhD from University of Birmingham in 1956. Since then, he devoted himself to education and research at various universities and research institutes, including Kyoto University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. His achievement is pioneering mathematical research in physics, chemistry, and quantum information science based on many body physics. Dr. Lieb, primarily through his achievements in many body physics, established a foundation for mathematical research in extensive fields like physics, chemistry, and quantum information science. 
He also made significant contribution in the field of mathematical analysis. Lastly, arts and philosophy. Prize field this year is arts. For example, painting, sculpture, craft, architecture, photography, design, etc. included. And the laureate is Ms. Nalini Malani. Ms. Malani has her own experiences having faced a turbulent era and based on that explored artistic expression that brings the voices of the voiceless oppressed in the society. She is a non-Western contributor to the decentralization of art, which has been Western-centered. She is now 77 years old. One year after she was born, when India and Pakistan were separated for independence, she fled to India as a refugee. Since then, her base has been India and has actively participated in numerous exhibitions in various parts in the world. Ms. Malani has created phantasmagorical spaces with approachable art forms using various media and pioneered artistic expression that brings the voices of the voiceless to many people. And she has been active globally as a non-Western artist, contributing greatly to the current trends of reconsidering conventional Western centrism in art. Those are the 2023 Kyoto Prize laureates. All three are quite well and very active today. This year is the 38th Kyoto Prize, which is now widely recognized as an international award. We are pleased to note that all three are truly outstanding and appropriate laureates in the name of Kyoto Prize. It was my great pleasure to make this announcement as a chair of the executive committee. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Sakaki. With this, we conclude YouTube streaming of the announcement of the laureates for 2023. Thank you for joining us.